Hello everybody, Andrew Majewski here with Dental L. So you have been audited for 2021. Don't panic, okay? Don't panic. So you have been audited if your license number ends, I'm just double checking, in zero or a one. So you have been audited. Again, you guys, don't panic because I am here to make the process easier for you. I'm going to explain your options because no doubt most of you have just always assumed that you would never be picked. You haven't thought about it before. You have not been keeping up with your continuing education and you really don't know what to expect. So let me help you guys. So I, I was actually audited last year. So I will be submitting my portfolio in 2020. Okay. I was actually audited five years ago as well. So I, I have done this before. So I'm the person to talk to you guys about it because I am here to put your mind at ease a little bit because I know it's a very stressful time. So you have options. So if you have been audited, you have the options of either writing your portfolio or taking the quality assurance exam. Excuse me, I think I'm losing my voice a little bit. So you have options. There is no other option, okay? So you can't just say that you're not interested. You can't just say you don't have time. You can't say, oh my goodness, what am I doing? You know, you have to do something, okay? And for both of those options, you will also be doing your typical day, which I can help you with. The typical day is a lot less frightening than when I first submitted my portfolio about five years ago. We had to literally write out our typical day, like in paragraph, point form, whatever it was. Now they kind of have point form for you and then you just sort of check mark, yes, no, well, it's, it's more than that, but it's just so much easier, trust me. But I can help you with that too, so don't worry. If you have not seen the video that I have on typical day, if you're curious, do a search for that in, my, in, my, in this YouTube channel and you will find it, okay? So the portfolio. You, the portfolio is for those people, even if you haven't been keeping up with your continuing education, you can start now. You have a whole year, you guys, to do it. So do not think, oh my goodness, what am I going to do? Everybody is in the same position as you, you know, or most people. I shouldn't say everybody. I think I know one hygienist, and it's not me, who, who takes courses and makes notes of all of the courses that she takes right away. I take a lot of courses, all of them are online, but I don't take notes right away, okay? So you're probably like most people where you might be taking courses, you just aren't organized about it. But that's what the portfolio is about. You are basically talking about all of those courses that you have, have taken. You are supposed to write um, a number of goals over those three years. And then pertaining to those, um, pertaining to those goals, you have to talk about what you have learned and the changes you have made to your practice. If you're thinking, oh my God, that's the last thing that I want to do, then you can take the quality assurance exam. But it's an exam. I know most people kind of say to me, oh my God, I don't want to take an exam. I'll do whatever I can to not take an exam. So then you want the portfolio. But if the portfolio makes you nervous, then take the quality assurance exam. It is online open book, you have to study for it. Trust me, it's not an easy exam. It's not a hard exam like the board exam. It's not like that, but you still have to study for it. If you need help with that, I do offer a quality assurance course where I teach you guys exactly what to study to pass that exam. But if you're saying, I don't wanna take an exam, oh my God, please don't make me take an exam then you want the portfolio. And I do offer an online portfolio workshop for that as well, if you need help with your portfolio. And the nice thing about the online portfolio workshop is I have also included, if you want me to look at your portfolio before you submit it, I can, free of charge. So I don't charge for that because that's included in the online portfolio workshop. So you're probably really nervous hearing those options, but don't, panic you guys because I can help you. You have to choose one. People often say to me, well, what should I choose? What are your ideas? Like, what are your thoughts? I can't make that choice for you. But I do tell people, you can take the exam, which you do have to pay for, by the way. I don't know the exact cost. I can't remember. I want to say close to $200, but don't quote me on that. I wonder if that's in the milestones. I was actually just looking at the, at the milestones. That's what 
um, inspired me to do the video. But there is a cost for the exam. Um, so take the exam or do the portfolio. So I tell people, if exams make you panic and nervous, then you want to do the portfolio. But the portfolio, in my opinion, is more work because you have to put all of your courses together. You have to brainstorm, come up with, okay, what type of goals am I going to write? What do I want to learn? What should I be learning? What have I learned and how have I applied that to my practice? Whereas the exam is you study for the exam, take the exam, it's online, open book, and done. If you pass, of course, then it's just done. The portfolio, moving back to that again, it's a lot more work and I find people put it off until like November, December, January, and then they're panicking because it's the holidays and they have to work on this massive portfolio. But I did, or I'm doing my portfolio because I don't like paying for things when I don't have to. Does that sound silly? But it's true. I don't like paying for things. Why am I paying for a 200 something dollar exam? when I can just submit my portfolio that I take courses anyway. I just had to be more organized to kind of put it all together, but I have been. I could have been better though, but I'm pretty much done my, my portfolio now. I just have to submit it. So stress-free for the holidays, which is super nice, but it's up to you. Do you want to do the portfolio or do you want to do the exam? What are your thoughts? Let me know you guys if you have any questions. I will leave the links for you guys on the bottom for the online portfolio workshop and the quality assurance exam course if you need help with any of those. Thank you guys so much. Happy holidays and I'll see you very soon.